guys, you're then welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys my everything shower routine. We'll be getting into everything body care, skin care, oral hygiene. So just keep on watching. First things first is oral care. I do not play when it comes to my oral hygiene at all whatsoever. Today I'm going to be using the Twice toothpaste. I alternate between this toothpaste and the toothpaste by Paradontax because it leaves my mouth feeling really, really clean. And for my toothbrush, I use a regular Colgate toothbrush. I know I should probably use like an electronic toothbrush, but me personally, I like a manual traditional toothbrush just because the bristle head is bigger and i'm covering more teeth whereas with an electronic toothbrush the bristle head is very small and i basically have to brush each individual tooth one by one also with the electronic toothbrushes they're not the most comfortable when brushing near molars so i just prefer a traditional toothbrush this is a regular colgate toothbrush but definitely brush your teeth with whatever toothbrush you like it's up to you okay i typically brush my teeth for like a good two minutes i get everywhere i'm talking the roof of my mouth my gums my tongue everything and then when i'm done brushing my teeth i don't rinse it out with water this is actually a new habit that i had to build because it's going to wash away all the fluoride in the toothpaste which basically reduces how effective your toothpaste is going to be this is something that i recently learned and i'm still picking up as a habit but yeah do not rinse your mouth out immediately after brushing your teeth you can rinse it out a few minutes later but don't do it immediately after you finish brushing and then i go in with my my grin tongue cleaner i personally prefer the disposable one i love the brand grin i love their floss tape i have a lot of their products and even if you don't have a tongue cleaner please brush your tongue because it'll remove the layers of the bacteria that cause stinky breath and you don't want to be in anyone's face with yuck mouth so just brush your tongue scrape your tongue make sure you get all the way back there once i'm done cleaning my tongue i'm going in with my water pick y'all having a water flosser has changed my oral hygiene game tremendously you guys know i had invisalign and i do have a fixed retainer behind my teeth so it's not easy for me to floss or regular floss tape but with the water pick or any type of water flosser it allows you to get any extra food anything that's in between your teeth out and it's just amazing like i love it so much i only water floss at night i don't do it in the morning because i haven't eaten anything in the morning so i only water floss at the end of my day after i finish eating And then after that, I go in with my TheraBreath. I use the Invigorating Icy Mint. Y'all, this is my favorite mouthwash. I love this mouthwash so much. It doesn't leave that burning sensation like other mouthwashers do. Not only does it leave my mouth feeling good, but it leaves my mouth smelling good, you guys. Like, it works so well. And I know the directions on the bottle says to use it before and after brushing your teeth. But I'm going to be real with you guys. I only use it after. And with using it after brushing my teeth, it still works just as if I used it before and after. So use it at your own discretion. But me personally, I just use it after. So now that we're done with our oral care, it is now time for us to get into to the shower. So when I get in the shower, the first thing I do, I just saturate my whole body with the water and then I'm going to go in with my Fu. This is an African exfoliating net, but where I'm from, we call it Fu. So I'm going to be saying Fu throughout this video. My skin is very smooth and supple and I owe it all to this. I've only used this to wash my body since I was a child. The only body wash that I use is the Dr. Bonner's Peppermint Soap. If you know, you know. Like, I love this soap so much. I don't have to go into a whole spiel why I love it. It is literally the best soap out there. It's the only soap that makes me feel squeaky clean. And I wash my whole body with this everywhere. My legs, my feet. Please make sure to wash your legs and feet, please. Okay? Before, I never thought exfoliating gloves worked or any type of exfoliating mitts until I finally gave in and I purchased one. And I can honestly see the hype behind them. Y'all, I love this. I love exfoliating gloves now. And I'm using it in conjunction with my Loom Acidified Body Wash. Y'all, 
Loom. If you guys have never heard about Loom before, I'm going to put you on today. Their products are specialized to eliminate odor and they work, you guys. I only use this body wash in areas that don't get that much air, basically. So I use this underneath my underarms, in between my thighs, in between my rows, you know, areas that tend to build up a lot of bacteria and tend to be the first places in our bodies that start to build up an odor. So I don't wash my full body with this body wash, only in those targeted areas. And the reason why I use the exfoliating mitt is because it just removes the extra layers of skin. Those are also the areas that typically need more exfoliation. But if I am short for time and I just need to hurry up and take a shower, I will just put the Loom body wash on my full and just wash my body with that. It's not that deep. Once I'm done cleansing my body, it is now time for the full body exfoliation. My favorite exfoliator is the Fresh Brown Sugar Body Polish. I love, love, love this body exfoliator. It is the best on the market. I love it so much. It leaves your skin feeling so soft, so smooth, so supple. It is amazing and it is worth the price tag, you guys. And I do use the exfoliating glove when I am exfoliating my whole body. One, it's easier for me to manage the product. Also, it's double exfoliation in my eyes. And I don't exfoliate every single day. I probably exfoliate every three days. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell but the water isn't just on my skin it's sitting on top of my skin because my skin is now moisturized from the body polish i will always rave about this product i love it so much when i'm in between pedicures i do like to use a foot scrub this is a tea tree oil cooling foot scrub that i picked up from ulta and i really like to use this on days where i want to give myself some extra self-care some extra tlc or if i'm in between a pedicure and the feet is looking a bit rough i use it in conjunction with a foot pumice unfortunately the footage of me me actually using the product was corrupted so you guys didn't get a chance to see it but it works so well and i definitely do recommend you guys try and get out and now that i'm done exfoliating my body we're gonna go with the ole body conditioner if you're someone like me and you need a break after you take a shower this is for you when i get out the shower i don't want to have to immediately go into body care i don't want to have to lotion my body up immediately I sometimes just want to lay down, air dry, and relax. And I take like a good 30 minutes before I actually start my body care routine. This body conditioner, you guys, game changer. It literally moisturizes your skin in the shower. So you're not forced to have to rush and put lotion on after. You can relax a bit. You can do some skincare, whatever you please. And it is just an amazing product. It hydrates your skin so well. Definitely do recommend. And it is a rinse off body conditioner, so I do rinse it off. And then after I'm done rinsing it off, I'm going to go in with my Pan Oxo 10% Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Foaming Face Wash. Literally the best face wash for me. I love it so much. It is literally the only thing that has helped me with my acne. And it's not only a face wash, it also treats the acne on your body. So if you do suffer with back knee or acne anywhere on your body, definitely give Panox a try. It is an amazing product. I do know that some people apply it like a face mask, like they let it sit for like five minutes. Me personally, I just wash my face with it for 60 seconds and the results have just been amazing. But once again, use it at your own discretion. Definitely recommend starting out with the 4% first and then working your way up. But y'all, me and Panoxu go together real bad, okay? I love it so much. Now we're done with our shower and it is time for skincare. I'm just brushing my hair out a bit before we get into our skincare. I did have a wig installed. Typically when I'm doing my whole shower routine, I won't have no hair on my head. You guys know I don't really like sleeping with hair on my head, but I had this wig installed. So I was like, you know what? Let me just keep it on, keep it cute for the video. And that's exactly what I did. But yeah, we're gonna get into skincare. I just put on my spa headband that I got from Amazon and we're gonna start dermaplaning our face. To shave my face, I'm going to be using the Elemis Superfood Facial Oil as well as my Sephora Dermaplaning Blade. I actually really do enjoy this oil from Elemis. This is actually my second bottle. And these blades from Sephora are the sharpest blades that I've ever purchased ever they're so sharp and they get everything off of your face the reason why i shave my face is because one it helps with the appearance of dull skin shaving the peach fuzz or the hairs that are on your face allows your skin to look brighter and more even tone also it helps with your makeup application tremendously your makeup will not be clinging onto the hairs on your face you will have a fresh flawless base to begin with i love shaving my face i don't do it as frequently because i don't grow that much hair on my face i probably do it like once every month or every two months to be honest but i do get my eyebrows and my upper 
a lip threaded in between and when you're doing this you should pull your skin taut to help make the shaving process easier i was going in and out but no shade these blades were so good it was getting all the hair off my face so i was good Once I'm done shaving my face, I'm going in with my Bite Beauty Agave Plus Begin Lip Scrub. I've had this lip scrub for years. Don't necessarily have to buy this one. It's literally just a sugar scrub, but I definitely do recommend you guys exfoliating your lips. I was struggling with like uneven lip tone, and I'm not talking about my upper lip being darker than my bottom lip. I'm talking about me having darker spots on my bottom lip because they were chapped. So definitely incorporate lip exfoliation into your self-care routine because it makes your lips so soft and smooth, and it helps even the lip tone. Like I said, you don't have to Use this particular lip scrub you can actually make your own lip scrub it's literally just sugar and oil i believe And now it's time for you to moisturize my face. I'm using the Tula Skincare Breakout Star Oil Free Acne Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer. My skin loves it. I never break out when I use this moisturizer. It works so good. I'm currently building my skincare routine, so I don't have an intensive set in stone routine yet. I'm still trying out different products to see what my skin likes, but my skin loves this moisturizer, okay? And then I'm going in with my Laneige Glowy Balm. This is in Berry. I really do like Laneige lip products. I feel like they leave my lips feeling very, very moisturized. Now that I'm done with my skincare, it is time for me to fix up my hair a bit. Like I said, this wig is installed. I'm just gonna go ahead, clean up my lace a bit, apply more of my bold toe liquid gold. Just fix my hair up so it won't look so crazy. Now it is time for body care. My favorite deodorant is the Dove Even Tone Deodorant. It works very good for me and it does help even out the tone of my underarms. I've been using this for years, you guys. I'm back with another Loom product. This is their whole body deodorant. This is the unscented one. I only use this in the areas I don't get a lot of air, you guys. I'm gonna be so real with y'all. It smells very foul once it comes out the tube, but it works so well. It does eliminate odor very very well i had a very intense workout one day and typically i would have to hop straight into the shower after that workout but when i tell you there was no odor nothing and i am very aware about everything so it's not even me just being delusional no there was no odor this is the truth and i definitely recommend you guys trying it but like i said it does smell foul out the tube but it works very very well just wanted to let you guys know another full body deodorant that i love like love so much is sweet cheeks full body deodorant i love this deodorant so much if you know you know i got the so fresh so clean and i got the watermelon i use the so fresh so clean on like an everyday basis if i'm going out and it's going to be hot put it right between your cheeks no odor nothing 
nothing okay it works so well i use that on like an everyday basis and i like to use watermelon on those days where it's like yeah i gotta use watermelon like it's so good you guys definitely recommend you guys checking sweet cheeks out whenever they restock i'm on their website like it's so good i don't even want to get too into it just read the reviews on their website and you'll see why i love it so much after i'm done deodorizing my whole body we're gonna go in with the topicals faded brightening and clearing mist i love me some topicals and i especially love their clearing mist you guys i'm allergic to mosquitoes bites and i have so many black spots on my legs because of the fact that when i was younger i used to pop them and they left permanent marks on my legs but this has helped even the tone of my legs so well you guys i promise you if you struggle with any dark spots anything please give this product a try like it works so well my legs have evened out tremendously i used to be so insecure to wear shorts skirts anything but this has literally given me the confidence to wear skirts again to wear shorts again like i love it so much and i definitely do recommend and now it's time to moisturize the body i'm going in with my palmer's cocoa butter holy grail been using this since i was a kid i just love palmer's cocoa butter like that's it i'm not even gonna go into it i just love palmer's cocoa butter the only thing that i use to moisturize my skin and then after i'm done i oil my body with this elemis body oil y'all this oil smells so good like it smells so good you can literally use it all over i'm talking your hair your nails your body everywhere this oil does not only have you know actual skincare benefits but when i tell you it leaves you smelling irresistible I mean it, y'all. Like, irresistible. I love this oil. It smells so good. Definitely recommend you guys trying it. Get the 35 milliliter or go to Nordstrom. Just smell it and you guys will see what I'm talking about. It smells so good. So good, y'all. And that is it y'all this is my everything shower routine these are the products that are always in rotation in my body care oral care or skincare routine i hope you guys enjoy the shower routine if you guys would like to see more please don't forget to subscribe i love you so much and i will see you guys in my next one bye